come right on down to 240's very own quiz show that asks, are you smarter than the certification test? Thank you for joining me today as we test your knowledge of the Texas EC through 6 math exam. We may not be giving away big money, but at least I can guarantee you that there are no whammies on the board. Just practice questions that will show you what to expect on test day. Play along and feel free to pause if you need time to work through the problems. Are you ready for the first question? Marcus is a first grade student working on place value task cards at a math center. Each task card shows an image of base 10 manipulatives, and students are to write the corresponding number in standard form on their recording sheet. Marcus selects a card that shows one hundreds block and three ones cubes. On his recording sheet, he writes that the number shown on the card is 13. Based on this scenario, which of the following tools would be the most effective to provide to Marcus? Marcus is struggling to recognize that each place needs to be filled by a digit, even if it is zero. Therefore, a place value chart would be an effective tool for Marcus to use. With the task card described in the question, a place value chart would help Marcus recognize that there are three ones, zero tens, and one hundred, making the number 103. How'd you do with that one? Personally, I could do without this. Are you ready to spin through a pedagogy question? In this question, we're dealing with assessing students during the first week of school, meaning the teacher is trying to get a better understanding of her students' current understanding. By giving students the assessment in choice B, the teacher would be able to gauge which of the upcoming vocabulary words her students are already familiar with. This allows the teacher to create lesson plans perfectly matched to students' current ability levels. On to number concepts and operations. Okay, quick, see if you can complete this mnemonic. Please excuse my dear aunt blank. That's gonna help you on the next question. Simplify the expression. 82 minus 100 divided by four plus six times 12. As we start to run through PEMDAS, there are no parentheses or exponents in this expression, so we can skip those steps. Then we move on to multiplication and division from left to right. So 100 divided by four equals 25, and six times 12 is 72. So now our expression is 82 minus 25 plus 72. Now we can simplify the remaining addition and subtraction from left to right. So our final answer is 129. Now, like some other shows, here the points don't matter, but let's keep playing. Bobby is buying gumballs for seven of his friends. There are 51 gumballs before Bobby makes his purchase at the store. Bobby wants to give each of his friends the same amount of gumballs and not have any gumballs left. Which of the following approaches can Bobby use to find the greatest number of gumballs he can purchase to give his friends? If Bobby wants gumballs for each of his seven friends and none left over, we need to know the multiples of seven. And there are only 51 gumballs in the store, so our number has to be lower than that. So our best option is this one. Make a list of the multiples of seven and then purchase the highest multiple of seven that is less than 51. Now let's look at an algebra question. Which of the following options shows a logical and correct first step to solving the algebraic equation given? Even though this is algebra, we still need to remember PEMDAS from earlier, so we start with the parentheses. If we distribute the three and the negative five to their respective parentheses, we'll get this choice, six x plus three minus five x minus 20 equals 11. Oh, that sound means that even though we did that question already, we'll try for some bonus points. We already know that the first step is to distribute. Next, we combine like terms on the same side of the equal sign. Finally, we isolate x by moving the negative 17 to the other side of the equal sign. I bet you're on track for a high score, or a low score, or maybe in the middle. I'm not positive, but I hope you're having as much fun as I am. Which of the following equations is written in slope-intercept form? This is where you need to remember y equals mx plus b. The only equation that is in this format is this one, y equals 3x plus 5. Recognizing slope-intercept form is just the first step in using the equation. To really feel confident dealing with slope, you should check out our study guide where we walk you through it all. I want to create an equation next. What do you say? Deal or no deal? Maria baked six dozen cookies for her classmates. There are 28 students in her class. Each child received two cookies, and Maria gave six cookies each to her teacher and her principal. Which expression expresses the number of cookies she had left over? 
Let's figure out how many cookies Maria started with first. She baked six dozen, so six times 12. Next, we need to take away all of the cookies she gave out, so we need grouping symbols. We include two cookies for each of her 28 classmates, and six cookies for the principal and the teacher. So this choice is the correct formula. Next up, geometry and measurement. We're told the west wall of a square room has a length of 13 feet, and they want the perimeter of the entire room. Well, squares have four sides of equal measure. So the perimeter, the area around the figure, would be four times 13, which is 52. Final round for today. The category is probability. Without looking, Jessie draws a marble from the bag shown, replaces it, gives the bag a good shake, and draws again. What is the probability that Jessie drew a red marble both times? On the first draw, the probability of drawing a red marble is three out of 10. Since the marble is replaced, the probability of drawing a red marble on the second draw is still three out of 10. So the probability of drawing red on both draws is three over 10 times three over 10. Ladies, gentlemen, and everyone in between, I hope you've enjoyed practicing for the Texas EC through six with me today. Click the link in the description to take the full math diagnostic test. Were you smarter than the certification test? Check out 242tutoring.com to make sure your answer to that question is always yes.